Okay, continuing on with the calculus, we are on to the next rule to help us. When we have a product of a two functions multiplied, we end up with saying it's f times g prime plus f prime times g. And whether you do f g prime f or g f prime g, it's adding, so the order doesn't really matter so much as long as you do both combinations. What the formula book says is this, is how it writes in the formula booklet. So the product rule says dy dx equals u times dv plus v times du. So let's do an example here. We're going to find the derivative of this product when x equals 0. So dy dx is equal to the first function just written times negative sine x. plus the derivative of the first one, 2x, times the second one, cosine x. And so that is my derivative. And now I want to find it when x equals 0. So I plug in 0. I get 0 squared plus 1 is 1, times the negative of sine of 0, plus 2 times 0, times cosine of 0. Well sine of 0 is 0 plus 0 and the derivative is 0 so I would have a horizontal tangent line here but the idea is the product rule here let's try another example calculate the derivative of this scenario here's my product and here's just uh, an extra thing to add on the end so derivative of y my product I'm gonna do x times the derivative of cotangent which is going to be cosecant squared x with a minus sign in front plus the derivative of x is 1 times cotangent x plus then I do the derivative of secant which is a secant x times tangent x and this here is the derivative I'm not going to simplify it this time because this lesson is really not about simplifying. So that is my derivative. Let's try one more example. We want to calculate the derivative and write the answer in factored form of this big giant thing. So dy dx, derivative of the first. Or, sure, derivative of the first is 5 times 2x plus 1 to the power of 4. The chain rule here says I must take the derivative of the inside times 2 times the, the function x cubed minus x plus 1 to the power of 4 plus my first function 2x plus 1 to the fifth times the derivative of this which is 4 times x cubed oh, minus x minus x plus 1 cubed times the derivative of the inside which is 3x squared minus 1. Wow, now there's a lot of things here and I have to put it in factored form. So if I look here I can see that I have a 2x plus 1 and a 2x plus 1. There's four of them here, five of them here. I also have an x cubed minus x plus 1 here and here. Plus I can also see in here a 2 in here and a 2 in there. So pulling out a factor I can pull out a 2. I can pull out a 2x plus 1 to the power of 4 because there's 4 here, there's 5 there, that 4 is the smaller. And an x cubed minus x plus 1 Here's four of them, here's three of them, so I can pull out three. When I do that, I am left with five. This is all pulled out. So I, the two is pulled out, and I'm left with one x cubed minus x plus one. Plus, well, there's four of these that are pulled out. So I have a two x plus one to the power of one. Well, the 2 is pulled out, so there's 2 left here. This whole factor is pulled out, 
And so I'm left with 3x squared minus 1 at the end. Okay, keep on simplifying. 2x plus 1 to the power of 4. x cubed minus x plus 1 to the power of 3. And if I simplify this all together, I have 5x cubed minus 5x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1. Oh, oh, this is all multiplied here. Ooh, let me back up here a little bit. When I multiply this, I get 6, 12x cubed. I get negative 2, or I get uh, 6, the x squared, I get 6x squared. x, I get 4x minus 1 is minus 4x. And then the final one is 2 times 1 times minus 1, which will be negative 2. Again, I'll continue to f simplify a little bit further. And this is an algebraic mess here. But we just keep track of what's going on. And I get 12 and 5. I get 17x cubed plus 6x squared minus 9x and minus 1 as my final derivative. So they can get quite involved, and so you just have to take it one step at a time, pull out factors to the powers all at one time. Oh, before I get too far, I realized I made a quick little mistake here. This should be a 5. Forgot to distribute that, which will change the final answer to make this a plus 3. So product rule, and then you pull out factors of such.